Hi, today we will see how to use Azure AI to fill in Form 3 series annexures. To start, we will navigate to the assignment landing page, choose the required client and the financial year and click on 3 CD annexures. The applicability for all the class clauses will be disabled. Let us enable applicability. We see that the status is yet to start for all the clauses as we have not filled the forms. In this video, we will see how to fill section 40A to B. Now, what is the relevance of this section? The relevance of this section is to classify ledgers in the system as related parties to the business. If any ledger is belonging to a related party, those ledgers have to be added in step 1 and the system will scan through the ledger and pull out all expenses and debits in the P&L statement and pull out a report of the, all the ledgers. Now the system does not by itself classify any ledger as a related party ledger. The user has to add ledgers manually in step 1. So let us add some ledgers and see how the system pulls out transactions. In the name of the related party and PAN are not mandatory but if we do not fill it in the report will not have the data and will be incomplete. Nature of relationship is mandatory. Let's add a few more. So these ledgers have been added in step 1. Let's click next to navigate to the next step. Now the system has pulled out all expense natured transactions in the ledgers that we've added in step 1. Let us see one example as to what kind of transactions get pulled out. For Devashi the amount is 3900 and the expense nature is company expenses. So if we navigate to the ledger Devashi politics we will see that there is one expenditure for 3150 and another one for 750 totaling to 3900 that is brought in step 2 as a <coughs> entry similarly the, the expenses in other ledgers added in step 1 will be populated here if we did not add name of the related person and pan in step 1 these columns would be left blank the user can report so download the report and check the entries So whatever is there in step 2 will be given to the user in a report format which can be submitted by the user. So exactly what is there in step 2 will be brought out here. User submits the clause and the status changes to ready for review. Now let us assume that this is financial year 1, 21-22 when the accounts are finalized and the user goes to 22-23. The ledgers that are added in step 1 year manually will be auto populated in second year also because the system does not populate anything. So when we have already saved it in year 1, year 2 will have the same ledgers if they are a part of the tally. If it is not there then the user will not see them and the user can add more ledgers if required and because they are manually added. If the user clicks on reset and gives a confirmation that yes he would like to reset data the manually added ledgers will be lost and the table will be blank user can again add ledgers thank you